50 million dollars funded, Yeehaw Games reveals first game for Southeast Asia. And shocking absolutely everyone around the world, it's a big titty anime game. Before we go any further, I just want to take a moment here to thank all of the absolute chads and chadettes that support this channel via Patreon. You're all freaking legends. Seriously, each and every single one of you. I would offer to give each of you a kiss, but I suffer from severe intimacy issues. Additionally, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest MMO gotcha and gaming news, take a second here to follow Mrs. Six and I over on Twitter. We tweet daily. Yeehaw Games, a $50 million funded gaming platform, is looking to shake up the playing field. From the coronavirus pandemic to the historic global markets collapse, in less than two years, billions of people have dealt with a decade's worth of change and volatility. Shockwaves aside, history might also remember 2022 as the year that opportunities emerged. Perhaps now more than ever, the ability to stay nimble and connected virtually is critical to making gaming more accessible to gamers worldwide. A signature narrative for the gaming industry in recent years has been the role of uninspiring gameplay and unsophisticated graphics. Yeehaw Games is looking to shake that up, and that is actually not entirely untrue. The last several years have had some absolute bangers in terms of releases, games like Elden Ring, games like V Rising, but at the same time, we have gone backwards, especially with regards to gacha games and more specifically MMOs, and it shows. But at the same time, I, I highly doubt a big titty anime mobile game is really going to shake that up. Gamers are tired of play to win games with weak gameplay, says Choi Wai Chung co-founder of and CEO of Yeehaw Games. Here at Yeehaw Games, we're all about the connections, the immersive experience, the exhilaration of knowing that there is always a way up, a way out, and a way into a whole new world of discovery. So we, uh, we're a brand new mobile game studio, and we're all about the immersive mobile experience. We're all about the, the exhilaration of mobile games because as history has proven, mobile games are not only an incredibly immersive genre, but also incredibly exhilarating, keeping you on the edge of your seat every second of the day, every, every moment that you are playing actively on your little phone. Where others create a normalized playing field, we connect gamers across global communities to build and experience their very own versions of a digital and virtual world. You know what? Real quick, I, I gotta take a look here. I gotta... I gotta know, what is the gameplay? What is this immersive, groundbreaking, exhilarating game? What does it look like? Collect gorgeous heroes. Th those are the graph. The so this, th this right here, this is immersive. This is shaking things up. This is groundbreaking. This is going to be an, an exhilarating type of, of combat, of gameplay. This, this is what they believe the future should look, are you serious? This actually looks like absolute trash. This is, they were saying that graphics and that gameplay have been continuing to decline and degrade over time. This game right here, Midgard Saga, is a prime example of what they are talking about. You're literally describing your own game, Yeehaw Games. What Yeehaw Games is offering could forever change the way gaming is experienced for you. <laughs> Yeehaw Games is building an ecosystem that not only offers high quality games to gamers worldwide, as is evident by that trash that we just saw in the trailer, but it also provides a platform for creators and gamers to come together to experience new ways of gaming together. Because that's not already what gamers do via platforms like Steam, the Microsoft Store, the Epic Games Store, individual games clients like the Battle.net client. Uh, these guys seem very out of touch with the gaming scene and maybe further than that, reality. Yeehaw Games has been working closely with multiple game studios to create quality. Your definition of quality and my definition of quality, two very different things. But quality games that are entertaining and fun to play to drive user engagement and retention. Traditionally, communication between gamers and game developers is not so straightforward. We want to break down barriers and build trust and transparency between the parties. Our platform empowers gamers with ownership in the games they love, 
allowing them to not just participate in gameplay, but also get involved in how the direction of each game unfolds. When game studios release their games on Yeehaw Games, they get to leverage the benefits of the ecosystem, including a network of gamers and support from experts in the industry. Those who sign up for an account on the platform will enjoy priority access to all games within the Yeehaw Games ecosystem. Also, while traditional games operate within themselves, meaning in-game assets are obsolete outside of the games, the platform allows users to transfer or exchange their assets and switch between games easily within the ecosystem. To put it simply, gamers have the freedom to experience a wide variety of games without worrying about sunk costs. Now, I don't, I don't fully grasp what this means. It says, Traditional games operate within themselves, meaning that all in-game assets are obsolete outside of the game. So as an example, if I obtain things in World of Warcraft, I can't use them in Final Fantasy XIV. But it says, all games that are available on the Yeehaw Games platform are going to allow for you to either exchange or switch your assets between the games. So if World of Warcraft, if Final Fantasy XIV, if Guild Wars 2, and if Arcage were all available on the same Yeehaw Games platform, I could transfer what, my character? I could transfer my character's gear, mounts, various other assets between each game. So every game is essentially going to be created using the Yeehaw Games platform, maybe their game engine, and allow for cross game functionality that is is very unusual midgard saga the first of yeehaw games game offerings will be released in september midgard saga is a casual card-based rpg that follows the adventures of a prince to save his fallen kingdom the free-to-play game is now open for pre-registration so is the yeehaw games platform going to be a mobile exclusive platform then since midgard saga seems to be a mobile exclusive game i see that there is only the mobile tag listed on mmo culture which is where i'm reading the article i don't know this uh this whole thing looks like it's going to be a horrendous experience for people this looks like it's going to flop really hard I would honestly not invest any time into this. The, the one single game that they are using to spearhead this entire campaign looks absolute trash. And if that is an example of the quality of the games that we're going to receive on the platform, yeah, th this is uh, this is an easy pass for me.